So this year I sought the help of a life coach, Carlos Casados, who's a NLP and a hypnotherapy specialist, because last year I felt that I attracted too many negative patterns in my life. And you know, last year I always say was the most challenging year of my life, especially with my husband's truck accident and his three surgeries. And it was truly, truly the most challenging year of my life. And so in my first session with Carlos, I was literally sitting in his office sobbing away. I mean, I didn't cry like that in a long time, telling him that I was so afraid that I would continue to attract these negative patterns if I didn't make an energetic shift. And what I mean by that, when I mean about that energetic shift is that, you know, everything in this universe is really organized and operated based on energy and that energy has a vibrational frequency. And so if we do not, you know, match that vibrational frequency to our soul's path, our truth, you know, have that vibrational alignment with our truth, then we are attracting things in our lives that we do not desire. And so this is what I was so afraid. And I really believe that we have to make this shift on a subconscious level, even though consciously, which is my brain's mind is the conscious awareness subconsciously, I may not have made that shift. And that subconscious mind is really in our body. That's the subconscious mind. The subconscious mind is much more hardwired than the conscious mind. And so I really truly believe that if we do not make this energetic shift and really match that vibrational alignment, then no matter how much action we take, I mean, we could take thousands of action that we still won't get what we desire in life because we haven't made that vibrational alignment. So I talk a lot about energy and this vibrational alignment, but what does that really mean? Cause right now it sounds like a concept, right? How can we really make it practical in our lives? So when I talk about this vibrational alignment, what I'm saying is that our beliefs in a subconscious level has to align with our truth. And so I create this chart to really show you what I'm talking about. So here we have our soul's purpose, the truth of who we are. And then we have our belief, the belief that we hold. And this is a belief that we're holding in our subconscious mind, not just in our conscious mind, but in our hard wired subconscious mind. And then we have here, whether we are energetically and vibrationally aligned with our truth, whether our belief is aligned with our truth. And so my truth, my higher purpose, my soul's path is to do yin and yang living to promote healthy, happy, and spiritual living. And so if I have a belief in my subconscious mind that I am not good enough, then I am not energetically and vibrationally aligned. And therefore the universe is not bringing me the cooperative components to support the yin and yang living. On the other hand, if I say to myself, I can be a good teacher and I truly believe that, then I am vibrationally aligned and the universe will support that belief and provide all the cooperative components to support yin and yang living. Now we could take this on another topic, for instance, abundance, abundance and money. If I believe, truly believe, that I can't make that kind of money because maybe you don't feel you're good enough, then you're not aligned vibrationally and energetically. And so the universe cannot bring you the cooperative components for abundance. On the other hand, with re regard to money, if I say I am worthy, so money flows to me easily, I am worthy, so money flows to me easily, then I am energetic and vibrationally aligned and the universe will bring all the cooperative components for abundance. You can also apply to relationships. You know, a lot of us have problems in relationships. And if you say to yourself, I am not good enough for him or her, then you are not vibrationally and energetically aligned and the universe will not support having that great relationship. On the other hand, if you say, I am worthy of unconditional love, then you are aligned 
and the universe will support that and provide you with that fabulous person in your life. That person will probably just appear. So what I'm saying here is that we have to be energetically and vibrationally aligned with our truth, with our soul's path in order for those things that we desire to come into our lives. And this must happen energetically. So how can we really shift ourselves energetically and vibrationally align with ourselves in our truth? And so I talk about the conscious mind, which is up here in our brain and our subconscious mind, which is really our body. That's where all of the information, all of our beliefs are really hardwired in this subconscious mind. And even if we say consciously, I am worthy, if we don't subconsciously feel, because the subconscious mind is the feeling, the language of feeling, then we are still not shifting energetically. And so that's why it takes mind training. That's why if you repeat a million times through meditation or mantra or chanting, I am worthy, I am worthy, I am worthy. At some point, you're going to start to believe that you're worthy, right? If you repeat it enough time, your belief becomes your truth, right? If you, on the other hand, says, I'm not worthy, I'm not worthy, and you say that like a million times, eventually, you're going to feel not worthy. You know, thoughts, as you repeat these thoughts, you know, they become beliefs. Beliefs are just thoughts repeated a million times. And so it takes a lot of mind training and that's why I sought the help of Carlos because he's really trying to help people at the subconscious level because when you start shifting yourself subconsciously at feeling, that feeling mind as opposed to the thinking mind, then you are truly shifting yourself energetically and making that vibrational alignment that we need in order to manifest the things we desire in our lives. So in order to make that lasting transformational change in our lives, we have to shift energetically and have that vibrational alignment. So if you have a story about your vibrational alignment and making that energetic shift, please share your stories below because your comments and feedback really help me and my community at large. And if you like this video, please make sure to share it and subscribe to my channel. And if you want to visit all of my spiritual and holistic living tips, just go to my website at yinnyangliving.com. Kumasunida.